Hello? Hello, Ella. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Jesus Christ, man. I had so many issues. Okay. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Um, okay. Let me see if everything is, is working indeed. Yeah, if you want to do the intro and you want us to be quiet, just let us know, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we are, we are live already, so people can just hear us, by the way. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. I actually forgot even to change the Twitch, Twitch title, though. So, I was so focused on other stuff that I forgot to actually change the most important thing. But I still have to do one more thing. Um, I have to put... Um... I have to put the game full screen. It's done. Okay. Okay. 
everything is working. It should be now. Okay, guys. Uh, are we waiting for someone? Are we waiting for... Wait, uh, Scotty, it looks like. But he's, he's there, though. We are waiting for Tom. Unless Tom is playing with... Uh, that's his nickname. I had a feeling it was uh, Tommy under George's. Also, why is Brian on the on the other side now? I'm con heavily confused. Um, <clears throat> Vinny, you need to change the map to I think the first one is V two. V two, yeah. Should be then now. Okay. Sorry, guys. Um, okay, it's gonna pull Sleekin Park album way too down now. Off. Okay, guys. I'm sorry. I haven't done this for quite a while now. Um, but I, I think everything is quite working properly. Um, so yeah, we have uh, this uh, final. Just, just give me two minutes, by the way, before they actually start. Um, so we have the, the grand final. Uh, quite a while to actually happen, but at least happening, and it's five v five as well. Um, uh, I know you guys know the videos, but I'm I'm sure people don't know the videos at all. So do you want to talk about a, a bit um, for uh, for the videos? Do you want to? That's what's actually happening right here, right now. Uh, yeah, sure. So we have a uh, MQ uh, band Rene or Rene, like it. Uh, Six Sense actually removed uh, Abby, so it's kind of obviously um, normal as well. MQ picked V2, which is probably expected, I would say. No. Uh, Probably their best map. Uh, Six Sense obviously picked Bridge because they are noobs. And they don't know nades. Obviously, they wouldn't pick Hunt as their map. And also, obviously, Hunt the this other map, which means kind of have the three most played maps, which. It's kind of expected, but I thought it will be maybe there was a kind of a surprise for the final. No, maybe one of them act would actually just try to. Um... I expected to see Renan as the side, right? Huh? Well, I honestly thought uh, MQ was going to pick uh, Hunt. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um... Purely because of the nades they know. Yeah. Johnny, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. You mean? Yeah. yeah exactly. You mean Johnny. It, yeah. <laughs> um. So, so yeah, and obviously for the lineups we have um, for uh, six sense Shaw, Scats, Scotty or Rails, Tommy and Grim, and for M MQ Brian, Johnny, Tal, Uber and Brower. So this is the teams that actually play this match. Okay, guys, we can actually start if you want now. Um, actually, let's let just put. Let me know the chat if it's um it's okay yeah. in terms of uh, game sound. Yeah, I'm ready. You guys are ready as well. Oh. We have front spawns, kinda. Yeah, Grim is uh, already down truck with. Uh... Six cents got uh, quite a lot of front spawns. Truck. Yeah. Well, for him to get 
He had that 20 and he's already heavily tagged as well. I would say Sense has a long control right now. They have three guys over there. Pascal takes one. Yeah, Pascal took Vance. That's Vance? Interesting yeah. Now. Yes, Vance now. Pushing Vance. Gonna face Tommy oh, he a might bit. Get a second kill now. Tommy is in a difficult spot, I would say, and a, a, a cool spot as well, yeah. Now Brian and Furv are pushing fences, so it's kind of trying to play with that part of the map. Oh, uh, covering everything now. Yeah. They have outside, oh. they have Alpha, they have Truck. Which team uh, was your prediction to win? For me, I would bet my money on MQ. Yeah. We'll see. You know, it I would depends a lot of, of things. It can be form of the moment, it can be the, the spawns, especially on V2, if you get rushed or not. So I don't know. I would say that as well. I think it's kind of favor to MQ. And you uh, my pick went to uh, MQ as well. Because uh, at, at the I end honestly thought they were gonna pick uh, Hunt. That's why I voted for <laughs> <laughs> but in the same so, way uh, though, in the same way, we know that we know that the UKs have been playing a lot and kinda yeah. as a team as well, so it's it's not the five of them but it's all, almost the five of them. Yeah, and MQ has been a bit inactive, that's true. Exactly. So you have probably the team that kinda knows how work together as in it's MQ but then on the other side you have the team that actually has been playing together for quite a while now so and actively playing together and yeah. Yeah, Johnny took too long now he's gonna have to rush uh, he's gonna get back quickly six times have been really active last so uh yeah my vote I don't I'm not sure anymore I have to uh, just wait and see. Johnny it's has. Gonna be a good yes. match regardless. Johnny has 20 seconds to do anything right now. He's in a 1v3. 1v2. Yes, sir. Grim there. And to plant. Seconds. Don't take Q. Now we got yeah, some front spawns for MQ, yeah. Wait, why is the score... I'm confused. Why is the score... It's it's great. It's from two actions. You know we don't see a lot, then. Apparently... Apparently, you guys have to take over because I have some sound issues. I'm not sure why, because I, I can hear you guys correctly. Mm. Fine. But... The people on Twitch say they yeah. don't hear us fine? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Not sure if it's worth commenting then. They can hear though, they can just hear like a sort of a, a robot voice. Yeah, though. I just got a message that uh, the sound was uh, F. I'm, I'm actually hearing you guys both correctly. Literally no uh, issues. Is it because we're doing it as a call and not on a video channel? I don't know. Maybe the sound quality is good. I'm literally, you guys, I know. Oh. It gets so. Maybe we should try going to a different Maybe that takes a lot. Just a second. Yeah, the, the 
call from name, right, uh, Vinny? Yes, I do. Let's go. Let's go wait, 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 wait. I actually kind of know what might be his. I just asked for uh, more info if it's better now or. Yep, yeah, should be better now. And it takes four minutes before, no? before you know if it's good or not. Yeah, from the air side. Guys. I think, uh, I think I've discovered exactly what it was. Yeah. Okay. 3v2 for 6 cents. Rims blocking. Next kill is gonna be an important one. Eh? Our yeah. main door rush for uh, Brian DJ. Wait. Not sure oh, if you him. Should be by now. Even put the uh, fill on the uh, decent volume level. Should be fixed. Sorry again, but I haven't done this for a while. And I had all That's the settings. Okay. It's fucked up from other stuff. So six cents third run in a row they have down truck. Very good spawn, so But he's kinda alone in he says he has shows with, with him but thinks as has a long and short Nice clean round by six cents. Yep. Big rounds, no front spawns this time. Yeah, five back spawns. Yeah. Totally is already door six again. He doesn't know if someone rushed, but uh, yeah, he'll pick up the long. Yeah, they have shaws with him. Um. They have. They don't have too much team for them. They know obviously that there's probably gonna be someone. Dream has jumped from off a truck now. Kind of help. Yeah, I, I find that uh, six cents taking uh, the aggressive approach to uh, defending down truck mainly. I mean, they need to though. I mean, they 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 know it's probably. Ooh, great shot from Brian. They know probably it's uh, MQ's best map, so they kind of have to play. Best. Nice. Oh. Bye, best. If Brian is well in the same spot, but. <laughs> Ah, oh, Scotty, I love the guy. <laughs> Looked like uh, a promising round at the start with the opening kill for Brian, but... Uh... Now it gets tricky, you know, 4-0, they don't have one close round since the beginning. Yep. They need to start ch changing things up. Pretty mess front spawn as well. Team already knows it, exactly where they are. Obviously, down uh, walling. The six cents has, has already long with three guys now. So again, it's I feel it's kind of kind of a deja vu from previous rounds. It's like they always have like two or three guys playing long or playing truck. Yeah. A little bit uh, confused with the uh, font. Curious. Um, which tactic or anti strat that MQ is going to uh, come up with the front uh, pound pound pound?
just getting uh, killed one by one. Looks like the defenders have a very Curious what the uh, brand is going to force here. Five zero to uh, six cents. Pascal has a rush, and there's a guy pit. Let's go. It's going to be tough for uh, MQ to string around together. They're a bit unlucky on the spawns, I have to be honest, eh? True, but uh, I find that spawn should not be everything to uh, winning around. Now, of course, it's always easier said than done when you're spectating. <laughs> Now this round it's already a 4v2 and then you get the last round. It's gonna be difficult for MQ to recover. Think if they're going to get one round of allied, they're gonna have it can be happy with it. Looking at how it's uh, turning at the shot by Brian. Sorry guys, I was Again, trying to fix the damn sound, but I'm I'm not sure. Another my shot by Brian, Ooh. and uh, suddenly we get a two v two. Is the sound fixed now, uh, Error? I think so. Uh, I've kind of removed everything and except one single audio source, so should be. But if it's not, I have no idea what can be, to be honest, honestly. Uh, so my, I'm hoping that actually it's it's fixed. Johnny up ladder. Usually on my Ryan. settings I just put, uh, yeah, one audio source, I put my headphones, and then it's okay. I have like four now. Four, I have four. Now I just had one, obviously the one I'm using, but I had four for whatever reason. Okay. And they were all muted. Except that one, but it actually removes all four now, so... We got a change up of tactics. Six cents uh, falling back. With cats back of CR looking to door one. And uh, Shaw's contest three on flag room against Ryan. Curious if uh, John is going to get any luck from the vent tunnel. Oh yeah. Yeah, he does. And that guy will take back to pre to uh, back up Brian. Okay. This is uh, nicely played by him. I think that's the first time in uh, six rounds they get the advantage numbers. But the thing is, yeah. the thing is, Brian needs to put some pressure here because obviously Sh Shaw knows that something might happen from. From uh, from Johnny, so Brian needs to actually pull or get Shaws to him. So oh, he was waiting for Johnny. I thought that Johnny was going to vent or or door one. So now they are taking both against against Shaws. Yep. You go one by one. It's Shaws advantage. So yeah. I think it was hugely bad played by, by MQ there, to be honest. We got Brower with a rush into long. No front spawn by MQ. Uh, by Six Sense, I mean. Let's see what. Oh, uh, one jump down ladder. No one heard him. Oh, important kill for Grim over there. Yeah, curious that they uh, missed the sound cue. So it's already uh, 2 for 5 again. 2 4. Tommy uh, back on the rail. And the others coming from Ventrum. Cotty and Pit. Actually, like the, uh, 
But he is he's alone on, on, on pit, though. He obviously was listening and killed Johnny over there. He pro probably knows there's a second one in that same area, but now we have Brian. Can't do yeah. anything. Oh, and Scott <laughs> dropped the weapon. A clean 7 0 for. Clean 7 yeah. 0, indeed, for yeah. Six cents. I wasn't expecting at all. At least one or two rounds by MQ, but then, uh... you know, in a five v five, it's more and more difficult now with uh, in this map. Is it go? No, we are waiting on uh, Brower to go. Oh, yeah. Okay, it is fixed now. Thanks, guys. Sorry for the yeah. for the issues. Once again, I haven't done it for a while. <laughs> You to take one or a, well, two or at least one round. It's gonna be uh, the pressure on MQ right off the gate. Also, uh, we haven't talked about this, so obviously, probably haven't noticed, but we kinda, I would say kinda because it's not really finished at all, but um, we have a new HUD. Um, or I wish, I, I should say, we have. 50% of a new HUD. Um, we're gonna change a few a few stuff for the next cups, maybe. Um, but your feedback is always appreciated. Just let us know if it's actually decent, better than the other one or not. But your feedback is also very cool. I kind of like it, to be honest. So, we got two front spawns by MQ. Johnny next truck. Full uh, long, well, f fell back to uh, the six. Got, uh, I'd say uh, MQ got pretty good position. Waiting. First contact. We also haven't discussed the fragging part. Johnny and Brian are the only ones. Playing. Johnny has six frags and Brian has five frags. Everyone else is just one or two frags in eight rounds. And don't forget, Six Sense only needs one round to win the map. So already a 3v3, and doesn't look that good for for MQ. No, indeed. Um, curious how uh, Sen is going to tackle it. Same for MQ, which uh, I see Brian is still on Alpha. Brian is get at least one kill. Yeah, but he's alone on Alpha. He has no, he has no info. I, I obviously Bra is watching his back, but he's literally alone in that um that in that area. He gets a nade, for example. Might be tricky for Brower. Fall back. But now Bro is alone on 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 inside door two now because Brian just just left like said fuck it I'm out. Bro needs to go out on the run as well so. We got uh, cut. They in door six, I think they might uh, do a double door sound when they open flag room, so he can go outside silently. Well, maybe not. Yeah. I thought, he, I thought he, they were doing exactly what you said, but apparently not. Katz is going to try to do the same on door five now, maybe. But, but MQ knows. Because Brian looked outside, Brower also looked outside, so they know they are trying to do something. Cat, Cat's gonna get a kill. Or not. Oh, this is way too important. Now Cat has literally V2, which puts. Oh, okay. Brian did, did the trade though. Oh. 
Oh, oh Cal one. Needs to get the last kill as well. 15 seconds left. What? Oh, shit. What? Why? I think he, he thought it entered the uh, free. <laughs> oh. We got some interesting spawns. Nobody in track. Not even from NQ. Yeah. Well, that last round, um, a tense round, I'd say. But, I mean, I actually thought Tommy lis listened the nade going going to uh, CR instead. Um, apparently not, to be honest. But there was a that was a shaky, I would say shaky, yeah, shaky yeah. round by by MQ. Don't Obviously, think. Uh... They expected or Brian to be happy that Tommy uh, just came over the railing. Yeah. And again. Sure, uh, yeah. And again, uh, six cents only needs one round to, to win the map, so MQ are in a very high pressure to deliver another six rounds to get the map to at least to overtime now. So. It's gonna be four v four. Yeah, but fair, fair is fair. Huh? MQ lost a uh, 2v1 attacking, and now Six Sense also lost a 2v1 attacking. Yeah. True. Yeah, the 2v1 that MQ lost, they could have uh, played that one better. Yeah, of course. Because if you put one round, it. Uh... Yeah, you can you can have one failure when you defend. Now they know that uh, <laughs> the small error the two is done. Fourteen kill by by Pascal there. Oh, oh a bit one. lucky as well on on Grim. And a safe route back. Yeah. Nicely done by Pascal. Now they're not going to expect Uber up here as well. But Trooper is falling back. He, MQ are playing extra safe and it's normal they do so. But um, Yeah. I wouldn't blame them either. <laughs> yeah. Knowing that your opponent has up by winning only just one round. It uh, leaves no room for um, fake. So now we have Shaws in a 1v4. Try to double nade there. Pork. <laughs> You're alive, he says. <laughs> it's actually. If you uh, if you're gonna throw the double nades into the wall, then uh, people are going to survive that. He did the same uh, against knights against me, Alpha, in the <laughs> previous cup war. Okay. No front spawns for no front spawns for anyone. Everyone yeah. with a uh... was pretty close to door six, but he's uh, not moving forward for potential spam queues. Deciding to uh, stay back at door six. Nate coming to Johnny main door. As, um, Big Sense still has a lot of game, like literally, oh. there's there's five rounds which they can manage and try to get single ones, so they don't need to rush, they don't need to um, play play that fast, they need to actually try to get some, some, some pushes, yeah. some kills, they need to actually make MQ even more nervous, to be honest, I say. But I wouldn't. I oh. wouldn't play uh, too passive either. If yeah. uh, MQ can string some rounds together, they're going to uh, get uh, more comfortable and. Uh, yeah, I agree with you, but I think 
what I, what I was trying to say is I, they they need to wait for MQ to make mistakes to be honest. Um, not saying yeah. not saying MQ should play that passive like you said or, or or rush, but they need they need to just wait for MQ to make mistakes, and it's. It's not trying to 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 make things worse for Brower and and Fulva, but when you have two guys not fracking that much and dying round yes or round no, um, you have to expect them or try to exploit those those positions. So we have to make more like a mental game, you know. So it's like um, let them Q actually make mistakes, make some. Stupid pushes or mm -hmm. or not. So again, they have five rounds to actually try to convert at least. I think they only have four now. Huh? <laughs> yeah, probably. Okay, four now. Yes. Not sure uh, what Bravo was looking at. I think he, he probably knows there wasn't anyone coming from from vents. If you guys keep picking one by one, Shaws is oh, gonna it's say because Fuber is alone in control, and Pascal is behind. Is behind Shaws, so. Fuber. Okay. Oh, the oh, timing! Yeah, the, door just too early. the timing, man. Wow. Oh, okay, we have one front spawn. Brian. Yeah. yeah. Cat had at front spawn, but Brian was already aiming at at that door. And this is it. This is what MK doesn't need. Like having having people yeah. pushing. Like literally, you have you don't need to push Pascal over there. You just need to wait for for. Your mates try to get someone to help you, and even make six sense push nice to you. So, uh, not sure if you uh, noticed Johnny's spot. Yep, he's outside. <laughs> I, sneaky I, I sneak. Yeah. So hard to counter that spot, to be honest. Somebody should uh, find something for that spot. And record it, make it public for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We have uh, success trying to gain alpha, which they, they can though, but they have Brian and Fuber taking each other's backs on that side. Um, Fuber might get three fire this round back. Nope. Now Fuber is alone though. Oh ho! That's well played. That's well played. A bit risky, but the reward was um, fairly easy. Now they know where Shaw is. Yeah, exactly. Slowly, MQ is putting rounds. Slowly. Two truck spawns for MQ. No one to meet them from Sixth Sense. Yep. They might. And they're all going then. What? What? No, I saw Holy a dog. lot of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, like same exactly. Ventrum, like, huh? Which might not be too bad, actually. All five to Ventrum. Just through it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Maybe you should risk a round going all Ventrum. Brower is a different spot now. <laughs> the usual. Beautiful. UK Beautiful. mental games. But now, Extense has the advantage. 
So. Not now, for sure, but. They know that there's one guy in the truck position. He's still there. No one can kill Brower for whatever reason. Guys. Huh? Brower's well, gonna get even better. Finally, Brower dies, but. Look. I don't think he should have gone to main door as. Uh, I mean. Tony from Alpha was covering. <laughs> but yet. He knew there was gonna be someone in pits yeah, close yeah. by for sure. Um, so he had pit, he had um, he had long as well. It wasn't easy. It was an easy position to be honest. But he he actually gained like a few like at least ten seconds there. My God, still waiting vent room uh, from. Just on things. Kind of reminds me Pascal when 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 name played. Played against him, against against them, and I, I've sat for like two minutes on vents, waiting for Pascal. But there's there's no one from M M M actually watching the, vents. The at thing all. is with having patience and vent room, as soon as one, or in this case two people die from MQ and truck. The Ventrum guy needs to rotate. Yep. And it's, it's possible that you yeah, it's possible that you that you can hear the door and you know he's there, but you can't risk getting cut off in Ventrum and not being able to rotate back. Yep. So uh Ventrum gets gets cleared for free. And then you get the whole map. Oh Portin's kill two kills by Johnny over there. Tom is still close by on door 2. 2v2. Well, it was, uh, well played by John as uh, I didn't expect him to get a second one. Being in that position. Nice nade by Flover. He's making making 6 seconds lose time by running yeah, away 30 from. seconds left. Yep. You are playing, are playing the. The right way though. Oh, oh, two nades. Okay. Now Shaw Shaw needs to block the door for Tom to plant. Nice. 13 seconds. What? What? No. Oh. And Shaw went down. He has no yeah. time. Yeah, it's done. He has no time. Oh, that kill on Tommy Ooh. by Brian. Whoosh. Jesus, man. These are some tense rounds. <laughs> exactly. Damn. I mean, Shaws couldn't, couldn't plant it because of, of that nade, and it was a beautiful and timed nade. But going going down, he had to run to 2v2 to actually plant, though. Ah, oh, he had no time, huh? He jumped into a 10 seconds left or something. <laughs> yeah, probably still had no time, to be honest. So that's the second round, Six Sense gets very close to winning the map, so maybe MQ makes it, eh? Two rounds yep. left. Round by round, they have been uh, doing it. That shot by Tommy on Brian. I had a feeling he was gonna get that shot. Oh, oh Pas what, the the, what the hell Pascal is doing there? Might be it, might be the round. They know Shaw is already pushed flags. And Fooper has a lot to cover yeah, right Tony, now. Tony is still in the uh, vent room. Lose one, but he has a lot of lot to deal with. Finally Throw some decent guys. help. Oh nice shot by Shaw over there. Planting, I think. Yep, should be planting. The charge has been placed. Finally, a bomb planted, though. I think it's it's probably the first round. Rao just needs to wait for for Johnny there, so they can attack together. But the bomb is 
planted. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Finally, yeah. the round. Again! Ooh, what uh... the hell was this round, man? And GG, 8 5 to 6 cents. They win um, MQ's map pick. Now we have uh, that bridge. Yeah. A very well played uh, on V2 by six cents. Yep. Yeah, they were three times close to getting the round, so. Can't say it's undeserved. No, no, completely deserved. Was trying to figure exactly system. So yeah. Guys, wait five to X six cents. Um now I think um six cents is gonna start as allies, I believe so. Um probably yeah. Gonna... I can't remember the video. Like let me see. check the video once think again. It's access. They start access, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, six cents. Pick, oh, it so, is. Uh, yeah, it is. It MQ is. starts defending, right? Yep. MQ starts starts defending, which obviously helps them a uh, lot. Um, in a way, kind of puts pressure on the um, UKs. But because of that system, you know, you pick them up and then the opponent picks the starting side. Yeah. And with clans like these that are very close levels, that, uh, you will mostly lose your map and uh, win on the opponent's map. What do you guys think about the, about the format? Um, we are probably the end of the, of the cup now. There's a lot of stuff that can be fixed. But what do you guys think about the about the format itself, though? Uh, in the beginning, I was not a fan. Let's say, but then. <laughs> For example, when I played the war against Six Sense, we were getting completely wrecked on grid. Yep. And I think if we would have finished the map, it would have ended like 10-4 or something, and then oh. the war is kind of over. And with that system, it's like a clean sheet. Yeah, you go back indeed. to playing another map, yep. and you get the second chance. So the, I like this. Any? Yeah. Um, same opinion, I think. Uh... It's not something that we are used to as the uh, MOA community, but I think it's a system that has uh, its benefits and surely grows on the players. As Phil said, it offers uh, lots of benefits. You lose one map, let's say by yeah, 9 6 or 10 4, you know it's gonna be a pain in the ass to get back. Yep. It's um, like you get the second chance, yeah. That's, yeah, that's indeed. Nice. And uh, what, what do you guys think about the the custom maps? I was I was kind of surprised on how they were picked and mostly entertaining to be honest, um, because it got to a point where teams didn't know how to play it, um, yep. and it got to to that to that map where both teams were trying to get or trying to know the map the, the map itself. So it got to a point where maps were actually um, enjoyable to see, to be honest. Uh, but but what did, did you guys think about it? I think custom maps are a great addition. Now, of course, it always depends on which map. Yeah. Um, and I think it brings a, a kind of variety to the game instead of always the same three old maps. Yeah. Um, it gives teams the chance to get familiar or geek one map. And they have a better chance against winning a tougher opponent uh, opponent on paper. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It also got to a point where the most nerdy teams, let's say, I'm looking at. I, I'll give an example with uh, Sen Sensation in second division that got Conjun and Dave playing for them. Yeah. With uh, regards to uh, Saint Renan. Yeah. If they're gonna play Renan, well, they already showed in the past. Is Conjin the guy who taught uh, Nash some nades? Exactly that yeah. guy. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Exactly that guy. Yeah. I was I, I was gonna say that. Obviously, for the nerdy guys like Nash, Conjin, Johnny, 
some of you guys as well. Um, custom maps means ways to um, learn stuff. So, um, and and for me that that that's 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 like exciting for where people actually waste hours and hours trying to know that net or for that spawn or that or that hole, let's say. So it's it's kind of. Um, Kinda of good I and enjoyable. I also find it interesting as um, now the last couple of weeks or months, let's say, um, the maps mostly are only being played or v2 and bridge, and I think we're close to the limit on those on those maps after 20 years. We've been close to the limits like 15 years ago. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, I I I agree with you. But we cannot compare how we played in 2005 to uh, we're yeah, playing in 2020. Yeah. I think if we put um, the six cents from now to, uh, to the six cents of 10, 15 years ago, I think uh, six cents from back in the day is going to be blown out of the water. I, I, I kind of agree with you, but at the same time, it's like, it's kind of sickening to see always v2 and bridge the same all the time it's 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 not enjoyable at, at all but the custom maps nice night by 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 scotty there the custom maps are not that ready yet to sub in for those two maps and that's the issue there there isn't one single map that that can actually substitute one of those two maps at fully yeah. And obviously, there isn't people making new maps. Um, the ones that that exist are are not that good. So yeah, there are always a few good, there are a few good maps, but I don't. How should I uh, phrase this correctly? <laughs> um, I find that most custom maps they're made for public. Exactly. Yes. And not with a proper competitive mindset. Yeah, exactly that. They are not esports ready, let's say. So yeah. Yeah. we'll we we will always see V2 and Bridge and Hunt maybe. But um it's good to see other maps coming in and being played from time to time. Okay. Back to the game now. We have MQ on the verge of losing their first round thing. Fulbrand Brian have 2v4 situation with Scotty pushing CS now, but I think Fulbrand is already looking at that. Managed to kill Scotty. Gave uh, his position up to get nade though. Have to kill Graham over there. Graham is on first edge. Nice shot by Brian. We have cats at one HP, literally one HP. Brian oh, knows there's Brian. people at the hotel, and there's seven seconds, or right, six seconds to do anything. Oh, shot or a nice hit. Nice. Nice awareness by Brian there. That's a nice recovery by MQ in a 2v4. Exactly, yeah. Um, Brian stayed pretty much cool on that position, and it's not easy to be on in the first arch all the time. I shot by Fulber there. But um, that was a nice turn run by, by MQ. Is calling boys uh, laughing at the five minutes laughing at the chat now because they are now discussing the nade fart <laughs> talked about four minutes ago kill from Pascal there on Grim 4v3 see people want some stats from V2 Quick stats. 
Cats led, led in terms of kills. 13 kills. Though Shaw's had the most rating, went 20. Yeah, in terms of nades, nothing else. Come back to these further in the map. I'm curious how the uh, hotel fires are going to turn out. Mind, I got my answer. Again, 3v3. Uh, Cup taking a long throw. Oh. Johnny. First in the kill there. Now we have Tommy. Tom done seller. Brian is in the noob spot. It'd be easy for, for him. Probably Fuber is also specking between Love of the Street and Seller as well. But Seller, Brian is there. Bump literally just went outside. Finally, Brian did it. I'm not sure if Fuber saw him and called it to Brian or thing, uh, Brian just it, saw him. Yeah, but the, the the angle that Brian was was watching, he didn't see if 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 Tom continued to be um, here by the the actual the actual arch, he would get to Brown for sure. Um, but he went to the middle of the arch and Brian has the angle over there, so. Um, I'm just uh, watching Fuber here at the moment. I'm not used to uh, having the torch back anymore. Looks fearful to me. <laughs> it will get to a point where what Fuber is doing, and surely what we see is the same. I mean, I mean, or... yeah. I it, it will get to a point where the holster and the whole torch spec thing is gonna be somehow fixed. Not sure how exactly, but it's gonna be somehow fixed in the future for the future cups, and that's gonna be a lot more interesting to see the matches. To be. Because I'm not complaining about Fubor or Pontex or Midi or whatsoever, because they always do this. Yeah. But um. I think uh, we are at a point that every team got one player. Uh, if not doing it uh, by themselves, it's going to just be a tactic. Yep. I think, I, it's like, you have two different ways, though. You have the, the way where you have a guy that spends the entire the entire game, the entire map, sitting there. And obviously, that's not enjoyable. And you have the other guy that sometimes, or a good majority of the time, goes there, but kind of rotating through... Um, Several positions, and the second part is decent. First part is just boring as fuck, to be honest. Um, I know uh, on Stick Sense side, Tommy also likes set up sniper house. I mean, I'm not, I'm not complaining about sitting on the sniper house the entire time. I'm complaining about sitting in the sniper house, holding the entire time, which is kind of different. Yeah. Well, holstering in sniper house, in sniper house, and I'll put it that way. So, but sorry, I think, guys. I think we're uh, at a um, at a point in Moa where it's one of uh, it has become a little bit part of the meta that we're currently yeah, playing. But I I had this this discussion with someone who I can't remember right now, but. Um, it's gonna it's gonna be hard for you guys that have been playing the game for the last 15 or 20 to adapt to new things. Sure, I can understand that. I can respect that. But if you want more people to play the game, and this is debatable because 
there are always going to be people that are saying, well, there's not going to be more, more people or new people to play the game. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I would say no to that, because there's always new people that want to try out the game and try to play with friends, for example. Yeah. But um, the point is, if you play the same meta for 20 years, it's going to get boring. Yeah, and I think as well for uh, not necessarily new players, but players that have played uh, back in the day. Yeah. And that have now been playing more recent games with yeah. updated gameplay. Yeah. If they're going to come back to Medal of Honor and you're going to just get your... Uh, your ass packed out from across the map with a exactly. guy holstering his gun. Exactly. You're and gonna the... think, uh, is this what MOA has become and just gonna start Uninstall. playing a new game? Yeah. So, it's like, more like, if you have a new thing to do, if you have a new way of rushing, killing people, like, no holsting, um, different maps, different formats, different stuff. And, uh, in the meanwhile, Scotty sneaked his way through the bridge with no yeah, 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 yeah. from two. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna give it. Yeah. He kills one. Oh. Tommy was a bit... A bit lucky there. And we have Johnny. Johnny in a 1v3 situation. Oh, there's a guy on bridge. Burn him for being planted. Planting it. Oh, the nade from Grim exactly to his spot. Well played by Six Sense. Yep. So they have now one round though. Um, which... I mean, uh, it is already the second time in four rounds that Scotty just throws his ass over the bridge. Nobody uh, contesting it. Kinda happening the same with MQ. The start of you too. So we have two guys. We have two guys uh, fragging, trying to keep up with with the game, and three guys not trying to keep up with them. Um, but on the uh, six and side, is only only Scotty playing for sure right now. Yeah, Scott is having a great. I know we always uh, joke with uh, Scotty um, not being such a fantastic player and having low points on front spawn and just joking around. <laughs> but uh, I think if push comes to shove, he's actually one o one of the better players. I think the, the fun part of playing against you guys is the banter, the mental part where they will just tilt you every single time you kill them, and that's. It's kind of funny. I know there's a few people who, who don't understand because they, aren't, they, they, they don't have enough IQ to understand it, but um, I think the most fun part of playing against UK in general is this, the, the chat we had where you kill a guy or you die from a guy and they start to insult you in a kind of friendly slash banter way though. And that's, that, that's at least fun though. Okay, 3v2, Shaws and Tom, do you know where the sniper is right now, obviously? Oh, Johnny. Not the best moment. Yeah, Shaws was a bit was a bit alone on 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 that part of the map. Um, he had to coordinate with um, with Tom because Tom decided to push from, from fences to the right door. He had no cover. Six and top fragger Scotty being taken down by uh, top fragger of MQ, Brian. Curious, uh, 
Oh, six says is going to approach a four versus five. By making it a 4v4 is a good start, I'd say. Now it's gonna be Pascal against Green Up Hotel, I think. Nice shot from uh, Cats to uh, Fubor in the sniper house. 4v3. Johnny needs to actually get killed there, and he does. Good job from Brian also rotating from Cellar. So he's thinking like maybe I don't have anyone Cellar. But I think Tom is on that area as well. Tom is behind church. So anyone that goes cellar right now has a free pass. Uh shot from Brian. Ground. I find it curious by Tom that he was leaning to the left while crawling. Which makes sure I can pop out instead of hiding it. Tom said it to go stellar. Brian is looking over there obviously, but I think Tom might have the angle. Grim, Grim winning, winning the battle, indeed. Brian knows Tommy's Tommy Seller. So he's a. Um, yeah, gun straight gun. through. Brian doesn't, doesn't need to push though. He only needs to wait there. Because if Brian pushes, Johnny goes alone in a 1v2. Yeah, I think Tommy saw Johnny down sniper. I was sure. I think Grim is leading. Yeah, Grim knows as well. The down sniper. They still have a minute though. Brian heard a nade. Help Johnny coming to you. Shot from Brian. Good position yeah. over there. I now mean, they know. Tommy, they had no info on Brian where he went. Yeah. 30 seconds for uh, Grim to move. To plant the bomb. Obviously, they know where he is. Brian with already double digits. Getting a stand kill in this side. Brian's having a. a how, many, how many kills would you have, Vinny, if you were recruited now? <laughs> how many kills I would have? Yes, mate, in that side. <laughs> uh, for MQ or six cents? MQ, mate. Oh. I know uh, that would be depend uh, in which position I'd be playing and if that's hotel or cellar. <laughs> Come on, just say double digits as well. Of course, mate. Thanks, mate. I'd Can't go, uh, I'd say, I'd go for 14. Can't that be worse, two, that, that Can't be kills, worse uh... than me, though. And Nefret as yeah. well. So, <laughs> sure. Two kills uh, per round just uh, should be a doable. It's your standards, right? Yes. <laughs> That's what <laughs> you want to hear, yeah? I imagine. <laughs> Imagine if, if this is PUBG or PSGO though. Is, would you still say you would get the digits or more or less? Man, have you ever played with Vinny on PUBG, mate? Fucking legend. <laughs> Those days are uh, behind me, mate. I'm playing too much Medal of Honor again lately. Oh, you went back to the dark side now. Yes. <laughs> Actually, it's Fuber's fault I start Medal of Honor again. Twice. No, <laughs> one time. The second time is uh, Cat Can's fault. So you're gonna you're gonna play for MQ the, in the next season, right? Um, not if, been decided yet. If they want to win. <laughs> and uh, I told uh, both Six Sense and MQ that uh, the winner would have a chance to draft in the next season. So. Okay. 
that might be the reason why Big Sam is playing uh, on top of their game at the moment. They want to impress you, right? <laughs> But I've been playing a lot of front spawn with uh, Six Sense lately, the couple, last couple of days and weeks, and I have to say it's uh, nice guys. Nice guys. I had my uh, my share of banter with uh, Grandpa Sorachi, and then I had my uh, then I had my story with uh, Scotty. <laughs> but yeah, they're nice guys. I like playing with them. Really, okay. um, relaxed. 6 1 um, for MQ, which means I only need two rounds till we go to Hunt. I would love to see Hunt, to be honest. I think Honestly. it would be fun, yeah. Yeah, I would love to see Hunt. So now we have Brian with 11 1. Damn, that KDR of 11 is insane. And yeah. Now it's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Honestly, I would love to see Hunt to be honest. Um, yeah, I think we all do. I think uh, Hunt is gonna be. Well. Damn it. I, Cooper with the, with the broad brush. Sorry. Yeah, Hunt is. As it's not being played as much lately, I think it's it suits nice as a uh, either man. I would like to see it, and now you remove the second roof. I think it can be interesting. What a nice rush by Fuber. He actually did everything okay, just won the position. Top hotel. Oof. 3v3 now. 3v3 now, yeah. Everything happened so quickly. Um, so. They lost top hotel. Yep. Johnny is behind church. Brian is seller. And they know Shaw's. Oof, nice shot by Brian. Shaw's. They knew Shaw's was was uh, sniper house. The fight at Top Hotel was towards Cats. 2v2 now. No Cat is Top Hotel. They have no idea where Grim is though. Ah. Oh, nice shot by Grim. Brian. Johnny knows exactly where they are. Top Hotel and uh, Bombard. He has a snipe. Can he do it? That was the first shot. one. Nice shot by Johnny. He'll probably switch weapons now, I think. Yep. Cats hers at it. Well. Sure of how many bullets he actually has, if it's on thirty or sixty. Four. Uh, Johnny got 60, yeah. One 30 in the clip and 30 as a spare. Now going third arch. I think Kat suspects it. Yeah. This is gonna come down to timing. Who's gonna check which corner when? Oh. Hurt. Ooh, he made sound. Hurt, yeah, he hurt. Johnny, you have the bomb. Oh, well nice. Well played by Johnny. Round. He was... Uh, Katz was, was so unlucky there with, um, with with making noise, jumping to water. That was a great clutch from Johnny. Yeah. And that first shot, first sniper shot was also very good. So MQ only needs one round win bridge and we go to um, hunt. Ooh, nice shot by Brian on Tommy. He's gonna wait a bit for the nades. 
Yeah. I think six cents are a bit tilted by now. It's uh, rails <laughs> on the balcony, okay. See uh, Fuber's feet. Fuber thinks the better of it. Fuber. They haven't heard the door. Hear him? Yeah. They didn't hear him. Some quick reaction by, by Pascal there, but now they know Grim is uh, brown. Oh, yeah, that's, that's it. GG. Yeah, nice. Quick one. Eight? What? Christ, I was not expecting this. Expecting. This. Uh... Yeah, but when you win the first one like this with the clutch of a 2v1, you know, yeah. with, uh, then you know you have six rounds left and you need to win the six. They kind of threw the next one, you know. Ryan with 16. Yeah, it was, was really good. It was insane on group. <laughs> oh, the well stats. We have Brian with 27 frags by now. Holding a 2.45 rating. Jesus. Insane. <laughs> Who did you say? Brian. Brian is 27 11. Total frags and deaths. That's that's acceptable. Very good final to be almost 15 frags by map. Yeah, I'd say uh, for being Brian DJ, it's yeah, it's it's acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Yeah, eight one on bridge. Um, yeah, fine now. Um, yeah. We have hunt, and we're gonna have a bash. Oh yeah, it's no one. This map. is the decider, so yeah, decider. We have to know exactly which teams. Um, I don't remember seeing, watching a stream. Ah, this got hunt. No, I think all the deciders were uh, Renan or uh, Abby. I'm not sure how teams are actually. Out the second roof or the roof. Did play the hunt? Uh, I don't know, mate. I only uh, came back on MGL. Um, it's your clan, mate. Like you should know. Six weeks ago. Thinking, I think we played hunt <laughs> polished, and I played that game as well. Um. Wait very cool player. match. Yeah. Very cool match. Hard to be I'm also getting a coffee. All Sorry. right, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> you got don't got uh, anything in your fridge, mate? Uh, I came back yesterday from Copenhagen. I I spent a week. I oh, was. Oh, you're in quarantine then? No, no, no. I I I'm I'm already fully vaccinated. Um, I was away for. A week. And usually when when I'm away that that long, that's yeah. I don't have anything on on page, so it doesn't get out of date. And uh, I was the freezer. Uh, I do have something freezer, but I'm not with stuff actually. I'm thinking I was gonna get to the to the happened. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, maybe Hunt is gonna be a quick one as well, and you get some uh, takeaway. I'm thinking I should. I right now and if like take at one minute or. It's gonna do. Wait for. Get see while the map is still. You mind uh, sharing what you're going to eat to make uh, some viewers 
I have Bellator I haven't decided yet to be honest. I have um, not not too many options. Where I live, him knows about it, but it's between um, Donald's Pizza and and that's it. Soup. Yeah. You get soup for takeaway. Yes, soup. Oh damn. Okay. Garlic bread soup. Some cool. Can work a lot, but I I week. Dice. Some McDonald's. All right. Have you had dinner? Yeah, yeah. Um, I got I got myself some uh, some Belgian fries, mate. Yes. We are going to have a twenty-four G paint. Cup. That's that's confirmed. Can you confirm to the audience that nice cup? <laughs> Yeah, probably for one team, yeah. Not sure uh, which team yet, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. I did which team? Um, no, <laughs> no. Um, I've been playing a lot with uh, Six Sense lately because uh, Grim and then Tommy from Forte are playing for them. And then uh, on the other side, I've been playing a lot with MQ as well. Playing default with? Ah, no, uh, Realism. Uh, I think we did uh, a few Realism Wars on front spawn for, jo for lo jokes and fun. But... Okay, they are. Okay, we are ready for the bash. Big bash bash. And then on the other side, as I was saying, also been talking to uh, MQ a little bit. Well, MQ not really in particular, but Fuber. As uh, some might know, we had a little discussion at the end. Or during last uh, cup, which made me uh, quit more again. Jesus, what is this spam? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, man! Sorry for taking off the um, the in-game sound, but I had to. <laughs> and the conf. Are you streaming like... without uh, force models uh, error? With the fourth model, oh, you should okay. remove it. I, I, I don't get why people play without one. Yeah, but for the stream, it's nice, you know, you see different skins. Okay, sure. Thanks, mate. And we are live for the decider. Pascal has a rush. Pascal has a rush. He Let's dropped see. his nade oh. and he's going bath. Bath, yeah. Shows uh, face first in the bot. Buys it by it uh, live, but in the meanwhile, he managed to get some info that Pascal is in bot, so not everything is lost. We got uh, Johnny standing ready with Nate. As usual. As usual, yeah. Looks like uh, Fubris, <laughs> everyone is dropping his nades <laughs> to Give <Johnny>. me nades! <laughs> we have the same um, feeling with Nasho. You know, I know exactly what's, what Johnny uh, is doing. I don't think uh, I've ever played with somebody who, uh, who I dropped my nades to. Can't remember if he had one or not, not sure. It's always nice to know a few nades once in a while, like just at least the most basic ones. Um, but 
I don't think I will I will be able to see her that much. Johnny. Yeah, but that helps a lot in rounds. It does, he does. Uh, but uh, I don't have that mem that good memory to all of the name. But you know possible. Ooh, great shot from Grim. In the meanwhile, Scotty moved to Sniper House. And we got, uh, looks like Fuber is up school waiting. Up school. Oh, Brian is in the spot. Power is in the A police, yeah. Now it's difficult for uh, six cents because even though it's four v four, they only have one minute twenty. Yeah. He killed one there. He knew it was hard for him. And that position. Yeah. Three. Johnny Think. still has nade. Uh, I like this nade by. Uh... One HP by 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 Tom. Trying to the the hot key. Follow Nate. I think it's H. H. No. I'm not sure. Eh? <laughs> Sorry. This Johnny. I, I I can I can check quickly. I sh I know Alt H is not, but I thought it was Alt G. I have the PDF here. By Brian there. Yeah. You do the first round. When when specking a player and then throw a grenade, hold the G key to follow the grenade. Just just the G key. Yeah. Now we got uh, Brower with the front spawn. Decide to keep his knights. Here. G and hold it. Finally, the trains that people are just running face first into bot. Especially when you know there was a rush nitro. Or maybe it, uh, it failed that. Got a nade coming. Brower could smell that nade coming. Whoever in it, in field. You ever got to a point where felt like playing against teams that know, they know just terrible? So damn yes. sick where you like completely useless because of yeah. also dying from days every single round. Do you ever felt that? Yeah, no, yeah, because. Definitely. Uh... I was the guy needing from the second roof and making 10 plus kills on Francis, so I was also that guy. Now I don't know Nate, but... One team uh, that pops to mind immediately is Nate. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, whenever I, I played against Nate, uh, didn't matter which route or which pot I went to, I always uh, managed to attack the Nate on my face. <laughs> Like that's why you know that you need to know nades, eh? Like that's, that's why I'm not playing name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, but and another team that is uh, very uh, annoying to play against with nades is psychotic, in my opinion, because they also know uh, a shit ton of. Nades. Which one's the... Our... Well, Rift. main. What do you mean, nerf? No one? Well, voluted. Kind of oh. harder to. How the game was built, though. But yeah, with, if you go, if you mean by the old ones, yeah, in my and they. Yeah, um, Konami knows a lot of mates, and then uh, Miri as well. 
And then you got the Razor. Who uh, events nades for breakfast, I think. So, yeah. I'd say Psychotic and Namor, the two worst, in my opinion, to play against. Uh, if you're gonna talk about nades. And then, of course, uh, you got Inko. From uh, Knights. And Johnny from <laughs> In the meanwhile, we got a uh, nice defense by MQ on Hunt. Yeah, Going but for a shit, zero. Be, be now okay it's now. the first round, they don't have a rush. Here is what their uh, K1 Nate thrown by Johnny, falling back. Yeah. I'm probably gonna do a back tactic now. Finally! So Finally, yeah. Maybe it's 6 cents uh, round to do something. Johnny uh, collecting Nate's. Like uh, the pastor going around with his back in the church. Not sure if you guys are familiar with that phrase. <laughs> but here in Belgium, if we go to church, they come around with this little uh, pocket change collecting collection thingy. Yeah, we have support. we have the same. Yes, we have the same. Yeah, that uh, reminds me of Johnny going around for mates. So it's uh, already a 4v4. And Tom is uh, already back of map at the last Tom. Yep. You ob oblivious to it? Yeah, I think he's gonna risk it to move forward. That's, yeah. uh, There's no one checking that, that spot. I think he's fully is watching that now. Or maybe not. No. No one is watching. He's watching the bomb. No one from MQ. And now they know, obviously, because Tom just killed Johnny over there, but no one was watching the bomb and bomb is planted. The charge has been placed. Now they have to move. So Fuber should uh, should just run to uh it's gonna be too late. Maybe not, because Brian is still way behind. I don't. I'm not sure if. Nah, now he knows because he saw Brian. Yeah, nice play. round by by uh, Scotty. Yeah. One round. I think uh, Fuber could have hurt him in church and just uh, stayed behind the tree. But the thing is, Maybe, I don't know. how the hell did no one is watching the bomb? Yeah, indeed. No the... one was covering graveyard. Yep. Or bushes for that matter. I think Br uh, Brower died on that on that uh, part of the map and no one just uh, went there to save him. So maybe that's why they they stopped or they didn't watch that part of the map. Yeah, there's been a, a nade game. I'm kind of curious to see exactly how many nades people have been trying. So, top, top goes to Brower with three nades now. Three nade kills at the moment. For Brower? Yeah, yes, yeah, three. I think he did random nades, huh? <laughs> well, they do work though, so. That's oh, around well. and MQ is going to be pretty pissed that they lost that. Yeah. yeah. And when when they see it, they see why they lost it. They're going to know like, okay, we, we fucked up. We should have... Whoosh, shows missed that. Okay, 4-1. Do you guys uh, yourself got any experience playing on hunt without uh, top roof being allowed? Never. Again, I think I think I've played with 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 name, but it was against normal regular team, Polish team. With all with all of the respect, and nothing against top teams, but um, it's kind of 
curious to see how top teams adapt to the no roofs part. Okay, they're not checking sniper house yet. Yeah, they closed up there. There's someone. I think he's uh, Johnny. Yeah, it is Johnny. Johnny. He doesn't see the guy in bushes. Yeah. He let one at least go through the bushes. Yeah, Scott is through the bushes. They don't know it. Yep. Scotty. Scotty is already. Pink, I would say so, yeah. You wanna check every single corner so people can actually uh, rush through those positions? But it's a bit unlucky because everyone is playing behind though. <laughs> Literally, except Johnny. Everyone except Johnny was is, is playing behind, so... I mean, that's well played by Johnny as uh, Six Sense only got two minutes left yep. to clear everything. Yep. But mainly, no. mainly Johnny just. One... Uh... Sorry, go ahead. No, I wanted to say they have one benefit of uh, not having to deal with the nade train of Johnny anymore. Yeah, and the the, the good part of, of Johnny being there is that he made Six Sense waste literally two minutes on. On that position, even though Tom, uh, even though Scotty rushed bushes, literally six ends wait, uh, wasted two minutes on on that position, and now they don't have too much time to actually push to the bomb, which is way behind on the map. I mean, these positions from MQ at the back of the church are in yeah. They learn though. Mira. Yeah. Wow. You still have a way to counter this if you know nades, but if you don't, if you don't have nades or don't know nades, it's super hard to actually. I mean, the spot Brower is on. Uh, not everyone is gonna nade that out of the blue. I know a guy that does stuff. <laughs> huh? I know a guy that does it to be honest. So. Does his yeah. nickname start with N? Exactly, and hands with an okay. H. <laughs> So yeah. Does his name end end on Ash? <laughs> Ash, yes. Exactly that. <laughs> oh yeah. Cats Cats has no way of winning this round to be honest. Um so, so yeah, five one. Front spawn to Brian, I believe so. Or yeah, front spawn to Brian. Dropping nades. I, I noticed that uh, on MQ side that not every side has a different person being top fragging. Of course, on this side is uh, Brower at the moment. Oh, defending by Brian over there. Kills two, goes back to Bath. Brower with another nade kill. He's leading with four now. Five! Uh, Damn! Yeah, looking at this uh, 6 1, MQ is gonna be pretty pumped. They lost that round. Nade by Tommy. I think the nade by Tommy was a bit random, to be honest. Yeah, he, might, he probably uh, guessed that uh, Brian was going to rotate after making some. Yeah. But 6 1 to MQ. Which means they only need two to win the whole thing. And um, Six Sense needs the clean sheet. So, seven rounds, they win it. So, pressure is kinda on both sides, I would say so. No? I think uh, it's more on MQ, Because eh? getting around on this map is very hard. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention, I was uh, doing the article. <laughs> okay, we need mate. <laughs> K 
pets with the with the front spawn is uh, near. Was getting needed though, so. Fober actually saw Scotty Nate coming and went to a safer position. He talked. I think uh, towards the bomb. Uh, not well, not the bomb, Nate. Need to bathroom by Johnny. Yep. And they missed it, I think so. Well, I thought it failed as well, I'm, I wasn't sure. Wait, uh. He's gonna do uh, a new Nate. Shaw's is currently 0 7. He hasn't done a single frag in the ally side. Now, Johnny didn't miss his Nate to, to Grim. Okay guys, I need to go downstairs to, to get my food. Give me a second. I'll be right back. Get me. First round, six cents. See if they got any front spawn. Yep. Who's the lucky guy? Cat. And Scotty, I think. I don't got uh, the HUD installed, so I need to press my shift key like uh, 20 times before I get back to the thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, 10 times to be correct. Same here. I was thinking about... Uh, Looking into getting the hut installed for myself, but uh, back. I'm not sure if that's a lot of work to get it up and running. Oh, it's pretty easy. Five minutes. Okay, what did I miss? Yeah, first quick round first round. Yeah. yeah, okay. Since they just made their first round as taxes. Buddy, trying to get back. But Getting shot by Brian there. Big sense can I have this on control. By Johnny? Nice nade, but. Nice nade. He still has some nades. Yep. I really find it fascinating how people even come up with these nades. Well, I mean, why would you go to the tree, <laughs> lay, uh, line up a spot, and then walk the whole of the street forward, mate? I, I just don't know how to how people get up. Thing. Oh, I, I know this nade. I know actually. I learned it. Uh, oh, I missed. He actually showed me this nade. Uh, Still has nades though. Oh, okay. I was trying to nade the uh, bath once more. So uh, we got quite an easy 2 0. Guys. Another front spawn for uh, 6 cents. It's not, not, the charge. not trying to pick with anyone, but after 10 rounds on hunt. Shaw's is still 0 7. Yeah, but now he's not dying, at least on the access side. True. Look at team teammates are doing the work. So we got the first. Um, I was gonna say back defense for 6 cents, but they're not that back. Let's call it a. Uh, well, how mid, would you call mid. this defense? Middle? Yeah, mid. Yeah, mid, yeah. Okay. So, Cat's probably trying to hear anything from from MQ. And he's telling Scotty to where to put nades. Get behind the graveyard to put. MQ are playing really slow. 
Yeah, they just need to be careful they're not going to be playing too strong. If they're going to uh, assume that x 6 is going to be all the way back, they're going to be in for uh, a nasty surprise. The thing is, it's super easy to get 7-0 defending, even with the changes. It's, it's still kind of easy to get 7 mm -hmm. rounds. And it's like you said, if, if they go super passive, um, they're going to lose the match. Sure. So, they lost 2 minutes over... over Pretty much the entire round. Yeah, just, treat, yeah. Yeah, just waiting for nades and stuff, which I, which I kind of understand, but I mean, you don't have too much time, though. Yeah, and now with the four minutes round, it's uh, more difficult on on Hunter. Huh? Yeah. Cat's gonna call in the info that they're at school. Now we have Pascal pretty much alone, can't do anything. 6 4 to MQ and 6 tens are heavily getting close. 7 round mark and the victory. Shaws has already made one frag. Good job, Shaws. Good job, lad. Oh, the well guy played. is sniper house. Um, Tommy. Yeah, he missed the shot, right? Yeah. Tommy uh, stopped spec. And they know that... In the corner for, uh, for a few seconds. And it was the time for Pascal. Ooh, and, and, again, and again, and again, one HP. Second time he does that. He gets to one HP with a um, with a knight. How is that? Two v four. Two v four. Indeed. Now MQ needs to stop stop the round for a bit, guys. We have the advantage. Shaws is still over there. One. Now they know. Now they have the info. Needed to play a little bit. Yeah. Safer that one. Just like, like a round reset. Like we were four v two. We kind of know where one of them is, but we don't know where the other one is as well. Um, let's just reset. We have it was like three minutes or so. Six HP playing. End of bushes. Now they know it is there. Charged with that nice I mean, cover. Man. It pains my eyes to just see them not clearing yep. corner. Just running out of the uh Yep, like be in the open. Fuber, Fuber could could just push, but he had he had to add someone from his team covering in that, that, that spot as well. Mm, yeah. Oh, it's an interesting round now. Yep. They know. Uh, now. Brian knows. Yeah, Brian, Brian knows. Oh, nice shot. Oh, three kills. I actually cannot see the bomb. Oh, now I do. Bomb was bugged. Bomb is way was... behind. Yeah, I was going to ask where the hell is Pascal running if the <laughs> bomb is not even at the back. <laughs> bomb is way behind. Advantage goes to Pascal, obviously. Um, I stayed at the bomb. Yeah, doing the right thing though. <laughs> oh, oh, nice shot! Shaw saves the round and saves six tenths. What a huge round by him, to be honest. Going from zero frags to five frags in two rounds, saving his team. Damn. Very nice round by Shaw. Yeah. Indeed. Good job, man.
if if Six Sense wins this, they have to thank Shaws for that run for sure. Yeah, I'm um, ain't gonna be happy they gave uh, uh, that round. Going from uh, a four against two. Yeah. And a three v one. Three, yeah, three versus one. And the problem four was, one. it wasn't even. I mean, obviously Shaws made a huge round, but MQ is gonna be like, "Fucking hell, guys, we fucked up again!" Like literally. Um... Now this might as well also give uh, MQ a little boost by thinking, uh, well, considering they got the advantage in this round, that they uh, do can... it again. Yeah. No, I like Scotty's spot behind the back tree. Now, yep. first, first tree. There's an A to that spot as well. Yeah, I don't think MQ is gonna clear it, but they can see a skin through on the other side. Now they know. This Scotty is falling back nicely. Gonna nade. Oh, most. We have Fuber alone. 1v5. <laughs> oh, well played. Yes, yeah, that's shot by Tom. Two rounds left. Yeah, getting uh, tense for MQ. They're gonna need at least one to secure uh, overtime. Yeah. They know Cat is already in the sniper house. That nade is going to here. Allied ruins. Uh. Rauer still still leading the the nade kill. It's with a small advantage from from Scotty. Still leading in terms of nade. Kill. Charles uh, such a good job. Knife get at me. Knife throws. Oh. time. Okay, 4v3. Do we... Cursor, how do they call it? Do we have the same situation now? Because Big Sense are not in position at all. They are falling back, obviously, but... Charles is still the one trying to be a bit... Freelancer, but going back. We have one. A church. I was going back to gate. Tombs. If you are, whatever you call that. I call this Konami spot. Banana spot. No, Konami. Ah, Konami spot. Oh, yeah. Kind of same thing though. With uh, the scene I caused by nading him out of the blue, the default cup. Um, I call it Konami. It's easiest, for, easiest for me to remember the spot. <laughs> Now, if Grim is gonna stay on this tomb, uh, he's going to get nated. Well, if Johnny's still alive though. Yeah. Johnny's still alive. I don't see any nades coming in, to be honest. Uh, I do know they have nades. I heard the sounds. But, 
Yeah. They know Tommy. Not gonna Tommy's attack. on his own search. They have less than a minute, by the way. They have nades left. So it's very difficult now. Johnny is nading side church, I believe so. Yeah, now they know someone is at the loop spot. Johnny sealed with the, with the nade. Yeah, Kerem is gonna die. 30 seconds. They have to move. They are waiting for the, that nade uh, from, from Johnny. He remembers the nade. 20 seconds. Missed the nade. I missed the nade. Okay. 10 seconds, done. They, is, yeah, they have no time. There's no time. Well, Shaws all he needs to hide. No, yeah. Safe. Exactly. Round to six cents, yes. Move too slowly by Pascal, indeed. They move way slowly. And the championship Just point. like that. Yep. Championship point to six cents. Coming home at least. Ooh, and they got a lot of front spawns. With the first Johnny already 1 HP, literally 1 HP. He's dead with that nade from Scotty. Scotty trying to get at least the top spot in terms of nades. Managed to cross the streets, but they know they have a guy on bath. It's Grim. I think we're still um bad, yeah, exactly. Cats the L believe so. Mm hmm Yeah. So extended got this uh I'd say they got this on lockdown. Yep. Two minutes. Everything everything is pretty much covered. And as long as uh, Grim is going to be in bot, they can be pretty safe from nades. Well. Brian with the, with the GG already. They are doing it. Uber in a 1v5 behind Bath alone. They don't know where he is, but surely. Yeah, something. at this moment, uh, I'd say it doesn't really matter. GG. And that's it. It is done. Six cents. Win this um, MGL season two. Back to back winners. Well, oh yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. It will not oh. help. Yeah. Brian with the. Top fragging, 37 kills, uh, 36 kills, I'm sorry, 36 kills, guys, MVP, Pro Torma, to be honest, three guys. No idea, mate. I mean, not for uh, Torma, but for the, for me, for the final. Sense, uh, definitely Scotty. <laughs> for me, you're a fan, mate. No, no, no. Um, Scotty, he got nade kills, he was, uh, he had some clutch moments on bridge. He played well on very well on V2. Uh, for me, it's Scotty. Bill? Yeah, you mean? Uh huh? Match, you mean? Yeah, yeah for the match. No, no, yeah. Not for the tournament, obviously, but for the, for the match. Uh, maybe Shaw's because of the clutch he put. I think that's what won the game. Um. For me, I will. I'm gonna be unbiased, at least, and give um, 
I think it was a bit more Scotty and Shaw's. Uh, Scotty with, with the entire thing that he did, and Shaw's literally saving six cents from possible overtime and losing the match. Um, so for me, it will be both of them. But I have, I have to give credit to Brian. Come on, you have 36 kills plus 16. Um, yeah. You do. Um, in terms of rating, you pull 1.8 rating overall in the entire match, and you still lose, though. So, um, I would say between these three, obviously with more body and uh, Charles, but uh, we have to give some credit to Brian as well, because he tried, though. He tried yeah, whatever, yeah. He, whatever he could, but it was ju- just wasn't enough, to be honest. So, yeah, guys, we are done. Thank you everyone for watching. I'm so I'm so sorry for the problems in the beginning of, of the stream. Um and and yeah, I hope to see a couple of months. Enjoy the vacations. Um and and yeah, thank you for mainly Fuber to put this whole thing together in a very decent way. There was no major drama except that uh, night slash Shinko shit. Uh, but overall, it was a very, very nice cup to see it and to play it. So, congrats to Fuber for making part of this all possible. And then, yeah, see you guys back in uh, September, October, whatever the next cup comes in. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. See you, boys. Bye bye, guys. See you, see you next see time. You. See you later. Bye.